Hey guys, so you guys can tell from the title, I'm going to be Himi Gouache First Impressions and my overall review. I've had um, the other Himi Gouache, Himea Gouache, whatever you want to call it, before. And I'm also sorry about the lighting change in a minute whenever I open this because it's currently almost midnight and I wanted to go ahead and record me talking. And giving like you know my expression and stuff and me opening it before tomorrow because my family is gonna be loud and stuff so i went ahead and do it right now so sorry about the lighting change and whatnot so let's open this baby right up <laughs> yes i got the mint one it was on like sale oh look at it it's so big compared to my blue one. Look at how big it is. Let me compare, actually. <laughs> Look at the difference, guys. I love the colors. I wish I had the other blue one. That's just my nails, my crusty nails. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I would gotten the blue one, but they didn't have it on sale at that time. So I just got the mint green one. This is the 18 one of the Himi. This is the 24 one. Ooh, I can't wait. But yeah. I'm gonna open it up real quick. Ooh, so big. Ooh, it comes with a bigger palette. I likey. <laughs> oh, there's a card. Oh, this is so nice. They never had that before. That's so cool. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I'll keep that to the side. <gasps> Ooh, it comes with brushes. Look at the packaging. So cool. Oh, I really wish I got in the blue one now. <gasps> There's a cute little sticker. different sizes six eight and four Hemi. they look cute this one has a little plastic because it's a little it's a different brush compared to these ones more circular square and then the round one fits right in <gasps> Ooh, should i open them right now you know what why the heck not why the heck not why the heck not <laughs> okay okay how am i gonna do this It shows the colors in the back. So that's cool. I didn't know that. I like the color range of this one. The other one doesn't have that, actually. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> that's actually cool. Okay, so the burnt umber. Oops, I did not do this right. Okay, burnt umber is this one, I'm guessing. Okay. Give me a moment. Hey, oh, voiceover stuff. I'll be back in a moment once again. So, taking off these jelly quashes, some of them were really easy to peel off. And, of course, some of them gave me a freaking struggle. Um, no surprise there. It's happened before with everyone, to be honest, depending on the little cups. Um, it happened before on my old Himi blue one I have gouache. And it's happened with this Himi gouache. I think it's just the manufacturing that they do. So... Some of them are easy to take off. Some of them are hard. You can see right in the in a little bit. One of the yellow ones gave me a really hard time. Like it splattered on me. I had to go wash my hands after that. I kept going. Um, not this yellow. It's that other neon yellow. After wait, no, it is this yellow. My bad. It's this yellow also because I didn't even notice that it splattered red on me. And I was like, great. I thought it was blood. I thought I was bleeding from the plastic. But yeah, this yellow here was the one that gave me trouble. Uh, but anywho, I'll be back in a moment to voice record the rest of this video. And I do change um, for my ones needed to close. Because, of course, I filmed this at night. The color ranges, I gotta say, freaking amazing though. Chef's kiss. But, 
yeah from the rest on i just had a little bit of struggle from here and there but it's it's normal guys it happens to everyone when they get the hemi quash it's no surprise it's just i never seen anyone that's peeled all the hemi quash satisfyingly correct i guess you can say it i don't know these colors are so amazing you guys look at them they're all juicy brand new not dried out big compared to this one like like they're all like cracked i haven't used them that much like mainly the whites of course but yeah compared to the color selection there's a lot more better colors than mixing these thankfully they have a skin tone which i like i like this light blue they only have one white which is sad because there's usually two downfall of that but yeah there's a lot more blues in this one which i like um considering they only had like two blues in this palette I like that i have more pinks like the peach one that one and that one and then the red one considering that but yeah there's a lot of colors they did keep once again like that colored with this one red one with that one like it's 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 great it's amazing <laughs> so yeah now time for me doing a video with these new babies <laughs> voiceover stuff here we go again <laughs> so um let me know about this down view angle i recently tried my new tripod for this video starting from here on out and i blew my oil pastels i did use my new tripod but first i recorded this video before the oil pastels so it's just taking me longer to edit this video because it was like almost two hours and i got it down to 18 minutes because of the time lapse thank god because time lapse helped so much because mm, my god this was just too stressful for me like i was on call with kiwi while editing this and i showed her and ah but anyways i lit down the pastel purple blue for the first layer i keep layering the sky a lot it this isn't going to be the final look like whenever i'm done painting the sky and i move on because i just needed a new set of eyes and refresh myself to come back to it later because it was just frustrating me from the beginning to begin with but yeah i tried making it dark blue but i felt like it just didn't look good you'll see later on i do change it <clears throat> so i went ahead and mixed that blue purple one with the darkish lightish blue um fudge i should probably call the names because they say it on the box so let me check that real quick so I came back. I took a picture of it from my old, on my actual phone. Um, I kept using the sky blue and the acid blue back and forth. So I like that the new Hemi Gouache has that. So I'm gonna talk about the packaging and whatnot for this. I'll go into like packaging, color range, um, the I don't know what else. I guess the way you can reactivate them and stuff again, and compared to my old Hemi Gouache. So let's go ahead and go and see if it's worth getting this bigger hemi gouache or the smaller hemi gouache they also have an even bigger hemi gouache <laughs> i don't think i'll ever get that it's like 50 dollars. we'll see maybe one day if i ever finish the smaller hemi gouache but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the packaging and all that right now the color range for this hemi gouache the bigger set um i forgot how much it is 25 i don't know this bigger set compared to the smaller set has more color ranges which i like they have a little bit more pastels and muted tones and the first Hemi gouache, it's more vibrant and everything. So, and this also came with brushes. It's this one is bigger and heavier. They both feel this. This one's heavier, like I said. But the packaging wise of the jelly little cups, they're both, you know, they're both the same. They're gonna not come off perfectly. It's just how it goes. Um, they both have different color palettes for the actual set itself like that blue one they have this that color and also the this one that i got in the mint green but i got the mint green one just because it was on sale so there's that i love the color range like i said they have some repeated colors from the little one to this one probably same with the even bigger one that's like 50 bucks but yeah i got this one i like the color range i'm not gonna lie i love the color range and you can also reactivate them by wetting them every time you um 
it gets dry because it started getting dry when i painted throughout this video because like i said it did take almost two hours so after that i did spray it down with water and that's how you reactivate your hemi gouache it's still the same consistency i'll link down some videos down below with people with hemi gouaches because it's it's true you just have to reactivate it by putting water there it's the same consistency and whatnot vibrancy there's no difference whatsoever but it all depends to you if you want the smaller hemi gouache the bigger hemi gouache and even the biggest hemi gouache they have um I recommend getting the smaller one, in my opinion, to start out with because it, it's limited colors. But I got this set because it was on sale and there's less mixing for me to do on my hand because mixing colors, I feel like I'm wasting the paint. Even though there's a lot of paint in the tubes, but it's just my opinion. I like the more pastel colors they have in this set. That's why I was drawn to it. And it came with brushes. Three brushes, so that's also why I got this set too. Besides the price point on Amazon, but yeah, I can get it on Amazon. You can get it from their store, I believe. I'll link down the my old palette and this palette down below too. I love them overall. They both have that jelly texture and whatnot. So yeah, I recommend getting the smaller one if you want to start out and you feel like eventually you're like almost done with their like feel like you're need more colors and less mixing then get the medium set and if you want the bigger bigger set i recommend getting that if you're um actually going to use it like a lot like this one artist i seen i'll link them down below too i love their i need to get one of their prints but yeah that's all i gotta say about the hemic washes i love them both it just depends on your um i guess not skill level it's just the way how you see it basically if you really want to get the bigger one instead of the little one, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. It's just my personal opinion. So, yeah. It's just my personal opinion review. I am not sponsored to say any of this shiz. I bought it with my own money because I love doing that. I probably will never get a, um, a art supply for free to review until eventually one day I grow even more. Let's say that. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah that's it for my review in person um i guess impression impression <laughs> sorry i'm i'm like barely woke up and i'm doing my voice over right now but anyways i'm gonna talk about the piece as you can see i finally finished done doing the sky i cut out a lot of bits and pieces of me trying to mix the um colors and getting the color and getting water and whatnot because like i said this video was like almost two hours and i went down to 18 minutes by doing more of a time lapse video thankfully that saved my butt because i did not want to talk forever during this um voiceover for a review because that would be way too much but yeah um this is gonna be my setup for now on probably not the um angle it's at i'll probably make it more zoom in like in the oil pastel video that you guys have have or haven't seen i don't know which one i'm gonna post first to be honest but yeah like adding a crystal here adding the little fake flowers because i love the colors i love baby blue i like the white it contrasts with so yeah and anyways now i'm going to the piece actually now i love the brushes i'm gonna say that i forgot to mention that the brushes are so are so nice i keep using that circular one than the square one just because it feels nicer to me and it's easier for me i don't know just my opinion and um <clears throat> i like the brushes they're really good i'm not gonna lie and now i don't have to worry about making my other brushes crusty that are old i need to get rid of them but anyways that's besides the point i love the brushes i love the color range um so the lotus flower i um i i went back to it as you guys saw from the very beginning i added white and purple purple more for the shadows and then white blending in with the purple and with the pink i think it made it look good because i've been practicing playing the semi gouache this whole time seeing how i want to use it and whatnot so i'm very happy with the lotus flower overall <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it was kind of a pain in the butt i even told um my boyfriend later on because we called and thankfully i took a break and i came back to it because i kept taking breaks throughout this video too and checking to see make sure it was recording or whatnot so i'm very happy though i did that in a way because fresh eyes new mindset everything and now i'll talk about the rainbow because the lotus was pretty easy it it kind of i kept going back to the lotus with the petals so 
it was just a struggle with the lotus i just wanted it to look nice to be honest but anyways the rainbow um i tried using the vibrancy ones or kind of the pastel looking ones in my eye and i just did that the blue one clashes too much with the background which is when i realized i wanted the sky to look lighter more pastel because i think i like making pieces more pastel like and vibrant too much lately just with this piece though overall so i had it white with the um ice acid blue i believe it is instead of the sky blue yeah the acid blue i believe i do not know <laughs> they, they don't really match also i will admit with the jelly tubes i mean some of them do i'm not gonna lie so but i believe it is the sky blue instead of the acid blue yeah it's the sky blue instead of the acid blue my bad guys i've been saying it wrong throughout this whole voiceover but yeah i decided to go ahead and mix the sky blue with the white i can't really see the words for it it could be titanium white i'm not sure when i took the photo but anyways i did that to make the sky more lighter and you guys can see i liked it better overall with that sky so i left it like that and then next up i used the um may me medium yellow and i added a white to make it more pastel with the clouds to add like a nice effect and i think it clashed well with the flotus flower i just wanted everything to look really nice in my opinion and clash together really well and i just like the way it looks overall and add the white on top to make the cloud make it look more like clouds and add it inside with the yellow to mix it too and make it more pastel while also making it look like clouds and adding texture um i did use watercolor paper for this it's the watercolor paper i always use it's finally starting to run out on me so i might buy another batch of that watercolor paper or i might just move on and use another watercolor paper that i have a pad and another pad that i have that i bought from michaels before a long time in a haul video just because i've been hoarding so much watercolor paper but i really like this watercolor paper but we'll see what happens after that um and then i went ahead and kept um adding pink next i believe it's the rose one or is it the purple rose it's one of those two for um just melting it in and blending it in with the cloud and so it wouldn't be like the actual lotus flower i did and here i went back in with the sky again as you can tell adding more white making it more pastel um i just keep doing that to the sky but anyways we're almost nearing the end of the video i went ahead and used the um acid blue underneath the lotus flower to add shadows and i felt like it ruined it but i think it went well to be honest i like it i'm not gonna lie i don't hate it but yeah that's it for my review my first impressions and my um piece with these himi gouaches everything will be linked down below and whatnot the supplies and the youtubers and videos i mentioned and whatnot but anyways have a good day good night morning whatever time it is for you and goodbye <laughs> bye again <laughs>